Hello everyone and welcome back to the CoinGraph Market Channel. This is Rich and I hope you're all having a great day today no matter where you are in the world. Today we're going to talk about XRP and I have a lot of things I wanted to cover from the last video. Are you ready for a great reset video tomorrow? Let me know in the comments below. Aren't they a Ripple partner? The Brazilian financial technology company New Bank announced on Thursday that it made six times as much money in the fourth quarter thanks to getting five million new customers. Take a look at these amounts. New Bank said it had nearly 94 million customers in the quarter and wants to have more than 100 million this year. At the end of the quarter, the bank had 8, 7.8 million customers in Brazil, Brazil 5.2 million in Mexico, and more than 800,000 in Colombia. This shows a few things. First, it levels the playing field and is part of the new financial system. Second, these countries are also strengthening their economies along the way. For example, New Bank uses RippleNet and probably also XRP. But Brazil is part of BRICS which shows that Ripple is already setting up rails inside of BRICS. In the same way that I said Ripple already has rails built into SWIFT, these countries will easily be able to use it. For P2P transactions to be anonymous like cash does now, offline CBDC functionality is going to be a must. The XRP ledger is light years ahead of the competition in this area, and offline payments are going to be very important, especially with the new financial system coming up, and people still want non-anonymous transactions. People would support CBDC if it could be used like cash, but they know they want to use it against us. A video showing how to use radio networks to make XRP ledger transactions happen instead of expensive 5G towers for CBDC. Yes, XRP can travel and make transactions over radio waves instead of 5G. And again, many people don't like 5G towers. That's how game changing at IS.United States is where changing the XRP ledger takes place. In 2026, brokers will have to report information on all digital asset transactions for the first time. This shows the exact rules that the IRS wanted to make, so you know they're serious about this, and I like this answer. I think this is the last year that price manipulation will slow down digital assets. I think we're at the final shakeout to the top, and I think everyone else is thinking the same thing. This year we'll get regulations and things will start to move. No more price manipulation on many of these cryptocurrencies. Although I still believe that the Ripple VSEC lawsuit is the only thing stopping XRP and XRP right now. While we're talking about the IRS, Thomas Massey says that the federal income tax has been unconstitutional for most of our country's history and that the founders would never have agreed to it. He says that we should get rid of it. People are struggling in this country and if people just kept working hard, Janet Yellen, she's going to work for China and Asia for the next six months. SBI's Global Institutional Adoption of Digital Assets for Trading Crypto Derivatives 6 equals the Swiss root quick plus Ripple. The SBI is a Ripple partner. Listen to what he has to say. We're really excited about what the future holds for institutions. Adoption of crypto and digital assets. I'm lucky to have my two shareholders in the room with me. And I'd also like to ask them on stage, why support Asia next? We were very early in this space and you've been helping to drive it forward. David, first, I want to know why you support Asia Next after being a part of a big part of STX. I think what we see as an opportunity is to build the infrastructure that will help support the next step in the adoption of digital assets more generally. I think that the arrival of institutional activity will be what defines this next phase in the adoption of the asset class. And we saw that there would be a strong demand for regulated services provided by trusted service provider by trusted service providers. It means a complete update to the whole infrastructure of money, the new financial system. That's exactly what's going to happen, which is why I always tell people to get ready and be holding when it all happens. The European Central Bank ECB thinks that this market rally isn't based on fundamentals. I don't know what's going on in the ECB, but they're really pushing the story that all that's happening right now is money laundering and illegal activity. Uh, They're pushing it all toward Bitcoin only. And I think it's because Christine Lagarde only sees Bitcoin as a CBDC. We know that most of these illegal activities are happening with cash, not digital currencies, but that's the story. What's really happening is that XRP is becoming more and more popular. This is also the story in the United States. They have to keep this story going so they can speed up regulations at the time. There are more Google searches for Ripple's token than for Ethereum. I think what's really going on is that a lot of people are getting excited about XRP, even though the price is staying the same. They're afraid they'll miss out when it finally takes off. Analysts see a number of things that could help XRP go up. The most important of these is the legal dispute between Ripple and the SEC, which will be settled in a landmark trial on April 23rd. If Ripple wins, it could spark excitement that sends XRP and the cryptocurrency market as a whole into a bullish phase. Alternatively, a negative decision could temporarily slow down the industry's progress. 
Everyone is betting that the Ripple say case will end in April. If that does happen, XRP will lead this whole market. It will take off so quickly that XRP holders will be excited overnight. I can't wait to make that video. That day is going to be so great. That's what we're all waiting for right now. And that's why I tell people when I talk to the P. Cheryl R. Brown asked what would happen to all the currencies that are in circulation right now. Watch this old video and listen to what Chris Lawson has to say. What happens to all the money? That's what I was going to ask. One view is that nothing changes there, so this probably only helps banks move their existing dollars, euros, or whatever currency they're using faster, cheaper, and at more competitive rates. This means that most consumers may not even know they're using this technology, just like some people know they're using the Internet's backbone, but they don't have to know. So think about that. Okay, banks. How do you make people happy when they get a better deal? They get new customers by offering a new service. For example, if a bank had a big sign outside that said, send money home in seconds for a low price, everyone would be lining up to use it all day. That's what XRP and RippleNet do. Chris Larson told them years ago that this is the technology that could change the whole banking system, but some people said, no, we can't have that XRP, it will not go away. Crypto is here to stay, and it will change the whole way money works. From bank to bank by 2030, cross-border transactions will be worth $54 trillion. When you add up all the wholesale and consumer transactions, they will be worth $292 trillion. Now, do the math to find the average market cap for each cryptocurrency if those transactions are handled by XRP, XLM, and XDC.